So it's very important that the child has key milestones monitored by the pediatrician or the GP. Whenever there is a review with the doctor, I mentioned earlier about holistic care. So we should discuss safety, we should discuss development, we should discuss healthy parenting, and we should discuss dental care and so on. So the children with risk factors need close follow-up and you may have early intervention therapy. Some studies show a benefit from early intervention. We should have a system to assess hearing and vision. A support system for children uh, who are picked up as having abnormal development is important as well. There is a whole spectrum of developmental disorders. So we have normal development, which is of course a wide range as well. You have simple developmental delay where you may have possible mild learning difficulty. Cerebral palsy is a movement related problem more commonly after birth asphyxia or prematurity. Uh, there is mainly a motor delay and you may have uh, neuromuscular problems in mild CP. And I mentioned the neurodegenerative conditions. You may have genetic conditions or familial conditions which lead to a mental retardation or learning difficulty and uh, hearing vision related problems also impact on overall development. And many of these problems have seizures as an association. And you may have coordination problems like clumsy child or apraxia. You may have selective learning difficulty like dyslexia where you can't identify letters or, or read. And you have pervasive developmental disorders which of course is a whole spectrum by itself like autism. The approach to management involves a family-centered approach. We should educate the family that there is a problem. Uh, it involves a multidisciplinary input from pediatrician, physiotherapist, occupational therapist speech and language therapist, play therapist and learning support coordinator. There is a child developmental pediatrician and neurologist, orthopedic uh, doctors may be involved as well where there is a problem. So the investigations would depend on the clinical picture. Most of the time you have the history to point out to the reason and then the special findings may lead to investigations or tests. There are special schools which help the children with significant learning difficulty. You need regular monitoring of the development. The parents need a lot of support. Sometimes they need respite care because it's very challenging to look after a child with developmental problems. And these are better managed in countries with good social support systems. Unfortunately, in the developing countries, it's lacking and it's a great strain on resources as well. So to summarize, monitoring of the infant and child development is very important. And if there are concerns, the parents should understand the normal sequence of development. They should seek help at the right age and appropriate management is important as well. So uh, 